Australia, hello New Zealand, welcome to another bitch. And we have got the bitches back for a great bitch today. Let me welcome them from left to right. Ted Bull, welcome back. Hello, lovely to be here amongst you all. Thank you very much. Candace Barnes, welcome back. Oh, welcome home. Feels like I've never left. Nice to have you back. Cameron Lynch, as always, welcome back. Pleasure to be here, Fred. And Natalie Foster, welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for coming in today. We've got four great topics. Uh, let me go straight into it, Ted. Thank you what very you much. Yes, uh, I, I, I know a lot of people have been peed off about this. <laughs> That's a oh, pun. That a pun. But we're talking about uh, sewage being used again. And you know what people don't realise, a lot of people don't realise that we've been doing it for years. Probably this morning when you had that glass of water, it could have been partly filled up with some of Genghis Khan's pee. <laughs> yes, indeed. See, well, it because, was a bit tepid. Well, well there, there's... <laughs> There's a, with that sort of hint of Chinese yeah. about it, yeah, get Chinese Mongolian. tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mongolian, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But see, because there's a finite amount of water on this planet, so we're really recycling all the time. So the, the old water, if it goes back and is used again, it's what nature does anyway. Yeah. So there's Maybe nothing wrong with time. it. So are we the only part of Australia that's doing this? No, no, they're doing it everywhere. What are we doing, by the way? Have you we're, even mentioned we're, we're the ready story? We're retrieving <laughs> sewage. They've actually, I saw the story on Nine News the other night, which I was only happening to switch on to Nine by accident, and uh, they were showing the bottles of, of the dirty water and the filtered water, yeah, and apparently it's, it's working. Western Water's onto it, or Water, water Corp. Uh, the health department has given it a, a, an unhappy, he didn't look very happy, the, the health department guy, but he has it passes all the tests. And the government obviously saying $50 million on a project to test it all has worked. Mm. But Bear, I mentioned Bear the Chinese, the Chinese are doing this Bear already. Bear Grylls does have a boot butt. Have you seen it? He takes, his, he takes his sock off. This is in, in mm. you know, when he's on one of his episodes. And he takes, and then he wheezes in it, and then he, he, um, he it. puts it through a smelly old sock. So as That's long him as, at home in the kitchen. As long, <laughs> really. <laughs> as long as Master water Chef. pork doesn't <laughs> just, you know, pee into a sock. I'm pretty happy. Do, but do you think it's a good idea that we recycle our water? I drink water? this all the time, so I have no <laughs> issues. What about you, Cameron? Um, the human... You've come from America. Yes. Uh, do they do this over there? Yeah, I mean, again, the, the bottled water industry do is... Do they even filter it over there? Yeah, they do. well, it depends which state you're in, or which country, or which town you're in. Um, but, like, the, like, the bottled water industry is enormous, it's so amazing. I can imagine them sort of part of the pun, poo-pooing this idea, but <laughs> the, the human body is ridiculously resilient. Like, when you watch things like Braveheart, I know there's creative license mm. in there, but back in those days, there were humans around, they drank the horribly dirty water, they lived, yeah, like, they didn't yeah. die, and this is filtered and treated, so it's cleaner than and most of the water out did, there. Did you know that in, in Russia, the poor people used to drink the pee of those that were ruling if they were sick? Because mm. they knew, well, see, because you actually, if you have medicine, most of it comes out, you right. get rid of it. So if they were sick with the same disease, as long mm. as it wasn't syphilis, they would drink <laughs> the pee. Keep, it, would keep, in mind yeah. though, keep in mind though, back in the day when yeah. you broke your arm, they cut it off because they thought that was a solution so as it's well. A yes. so. yeah. Cameron, you think it's a good idea? Absolutely, yeah. Candice, Look, I think please. that um, the government has, particularly the state government being relevant in this case, um, you know, if they do not follow all their checks and balances and they have a huge epidemic on their hands, they're opening themselves up for some massive lawsuit. So they're going to make sure they're that everything's sure in safe. order. And the thing is, like they said, we're, we're eliminating the possibility possibility of drought in the future and water restrictions as bad as we have Are to you do. aware though that this water we won't actually be drinking for at least 30 years? Mm. Because it has to be No, kept. no, no, it goes through God's own filter go as well. It has to go in the tank. Yeah. Back room. Okay. No, it has to sit in the tank for about 10 years and then it's sent under the mound, then it goes through then into it's the sold aquifer to China and, and then, then it's it sold to China. And then we buy it back in bottled yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So are we already agreeing? It's yeah, much. yeah, it's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, no oh, bitching about that. And, and you would hope that being recycled water might actually be cheaper. Well, <laughs> but you never funny. know. Look, if, if there was water that was, you know, not to my knowledge from poo, then I'd feel more comfortable doing so that. If you, if you but if this is the only option we have, then it's the only option If you could buy or poo water, which one would you go for? I probably wouldn't buy water. I'd oh, okay. go like get the stuff out Just of the tap, really. Just one other question, one other question. Will it be dehydrated? No, but we certainly are on this argument. <laughs> Thank you very much. Candace, can we move on to the next Yeah, topic? one of the stories that I've picked up and certainly a, a trend that I've noticed yeah. in Australian politics over the past couple of months as we head into uh, our election phase, mm. though it hasn't quite been announced I as reckon of today. I'm going to put my name on it. 7th of uh, September, I was going to say 7th December. 7th of September, 7th that's September. the rumour around right. town. I heard Tony um, Abbott briefly relate to Indeed, and speaking about Tony Abbott, uh, it's something that we've not really seen as often in Australian politics is the pimping out of the children 
um, to position yeah. these yeah. leaders. What do you mean? They're not well, putting the kids into I the business. It's, uh, not, not, it's, not, it's not, not in a sexual way. Oh, okay. It's the, uh, you know, it's the, this, it's the you, lingo of today. Candice, oh, are you talking sorry. about Kevin Rudd having his son next to him as a special advisor? Um, and, and his daughter writing a, a, a column for yep. Cleo and Tony Abbott's daughter's about to appear in Harper's Bazaar on a five-page yep. glossy Julia Gillard's spread. dog. Julia Gillard's dog. What yeah. do you think? It's, it's really, it seems that they're borrowing from the mould of American politics in this way and positioning themselves as family people in, you know, from, from my memory in sort of the Howard and Keating years, the children were not prominent. Certainly the wives were, as they, you know, the Arab of first ladies. I was going to say, were they ugly back then? Or? Um, well, <laughs> no. because if you had ugly kids, no, like, you look just at John don't Howard. Want to put them on TV. John Howard would never have ugly children. And look how hot he is. <laughs> yeah. I think mm, it's following the American model, and they've seen it they work with the be. Kennedys. They've seen it work particularly recently with the Obamas, mm -hmm. with their two young girls, really capturing the hearts of a lot Why of people. Why did Nixon hide his children? I wonder whether they. No, it wasn't one a dancer, a ballet dancer. One of mm. Nixon's sons was, was a ballet dancer. I shudder at the thought of Nixon ever procreating, to be perfectly honest. No, so I'm sure what are we yeah. saying, Candace? Are we saying it's a good thing or a bad thing to bring out your kids? I think it's a trend. You? I think that as a consumer, as a young voter myself, I'm feeling a little bit cynical about it. Mm. Um, I can see that it that it is a PR um, contrived. We don't see the kids of any other political, mm. um, even the higher ranking members of the political parties, or really at any other time. Mm. It is something that is, uh, I think we're borrowing from the American model there, and I don't know if it's a good thing. Cam, a quick comment? Uh, I have to agree, like with Tony Abbott's uh, children being in this sort of bizarre, I think for him it's just a, it is a big PR thing. Like he said, look, I even let them off their leash for half an hour so they can go and do the photo shoot. <laughs> <shoes, so." laughs> Natalie, please, quickly. Yeah, I have no issues. If I had ugly children, though, I would hide them in a basement and well, I would just get actors. Somebody else's. I'd get and actors, Ted, those little cherubs. What do you think? Well, for a start, Nat, you could never have ugly children, oh, darling. Oh, You're too beautiful. Offer, Ted? Huh? <laughs> is that an offer, Ted? Is that an offer? No, but at my age? <laughs> well, well, unless I've still got it in the bank somewhere. <laughs> you can do what you It doesn't bother me. Good on them. You know, yeah. you use Thank every you. trick in the book you can to get the gig, don't you? Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Cameron, what's your story today? Uh, well, with the advent of crowdfunding, we've seen some fantastic independent films, some excellent music, even some marvellously made independent video games. Mm -hmm. Now we can see some other uh, man-made marvels on some ladies and perverts among you rejoice because there is a new website out there called MyFreeImplants.com where ladies put their photos up and basically an attempt to crowdfund their boob implants. This is like raising money from the public to fund the operation. Yes, so, and in return, uh, benefactors are offered photos, videos and messages from female users in exchange for cash <laughs> donations, starting as little from a dollar, for you guys hanging around the casino, uh, all the way up to more than a thousand dollars. How sad, but... Sorry, what's yeah. what's the website? Uh, MyFreeImplants.com and 127 uh, Australians are registered users on the site well, as well. Well, we're 100, so. right. 320. Ted, can I get so, your opinion um, on this? Well, look, Would you, know, you ever do again, something like this? I'm, I'm just full of Christian kindness. If, 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 if it makes you feel good, go for it. And if someone is silly enough to pay for your boob job, well, good luck to you and good luck to them. It's, it's mm. maybe, you know, people are benevolent, philanthropic. So it's, Perhaps, not, a, it's not a story about having a boob job. It's more no, about the way people, you fund yeah, it. Is yeah, that what you're yeah. So, so you think of people like, like Gina Re Reinhardt, who's got more money than God. <laughs> She could probably throw in a few bucks as well. I, I reckon so. her children would reconstruct her body for free. <laughs> Trust me, they only need to be asked. <laughs> Candace, what do you reckon about this? Uh, look, I think that particularly for some of the women going down this path, it's important to remember that you never get anything for free and that there will be an expectation in return. So how much of yourself do you sell? through pictures and videos and interactions you're willing uh, to sell yeah. is something to consider. Well, they have raised $12.5 million. Wow. So and what if they, they had to do in return? Well, apparently there's been a couple of sleazy offers just to be wary, said one of the uh, So you should be wary, so, absolutely. Yes. Really you know, consider it. If you want to be a stripper, you don't have to have big tits, do you? No. Really? I'm just saying. I don't know, you're looking at me. I think the prerequisite is <laughs> 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 So, hang on, but this doesn't seem very fair to me. Okay, yeah. so we've got myfreeimplants.com for the girls, unless there's some boys that want some man boobs. What about my freeextensions.com for the fellas. Let's be fair here if you want a little, another uh, hang, couple hang, of inches. Hang on. Why would I be worried about extending something at my house? I'm quite happy with the size of my house already. Is Let's... your wife happy though? Oh, I've... Yeah, why yeah, don't she know? Is actually yeah. She's the perfect height. <laughs> I suppose, I suppose <laughs> we don't want to pump up his ego on that one. <laughs> Natalie, oh, what's you're talking your about story? that extension. Um, I thought you meant your extension on your, on your shed. Patio. Yeah, the game on that's going patio. straight to the games room. Well, oh. this one is a brand new invention. Hold yourselves back, boys and girls, because if you're too lazy to boil an egg, you can now buy mm. an egg which you, you boil up in a cup, basically. So it's a pre-cooked so egg. So it's a pre-cooked egg. A British firm decided that this is a great new invention to forget about, you know, funding for cancer research. 
something like this. This is fantastic. It's a British firm called Porks Farm Dippy Eggs. I don't know where they're getting the eggs from because mm. last time I checked, pigs don't have eggs. But what it is, it's just a little styrofoam cup yep. with an egg inside. You open it up and you put the egg Hot in. Water. Then you put boiling water on the top, you wait five minutes, and then you actually you eat your dippy egg. eggs. So it's like two minute noodles, so but it's like for a an egg. It's egg. But it's five minutes. If you just boil it yourself, it's three minutes. Check it in the microwave, it's, saying, it's 30 seconds. It's, it's saying how convenient it is. Can you imagine being on, oh, I missed my egg this morning. Here I am on the Armadale to Perth line. <laughs> and anybody got uh, some boiling water? You got your little cup there and your little, you know, making a fire or something. How I don't know if grills again, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you can have an egg. It's sort of like a dehydrated egg, which just gets reboiled. But it's a proper egg. That's no, a real egg. Yeah, it's yeah. a real egg. It's so, like the mm, re it's recycled egg. sewage. I don't know. In a, in a, I hate in a the cup modern world. With water. Can I ask Cameron, would you buy something like this? Uh, no. <laughs> Long story short, I, I think this is the same firm that's bringing us uh, pre sliced bread. So <laughs> it's perforated, so down the middle, but all you need is a perfect bread knife and you can, get, and you can slice the bread perfectly. Um, again, I don't see why you just don't boil an egg and take it with you because yeah, you I can agree. eat it pretty much anywhere. So, so wasted out. It's, I don't know who they're marketing this at. Egg and nuts. Candice, like, would you buy something like this? Look, my cooking skills do extend to boiling an egg, so I think Ooh. I'm good without this product. Oh, Didn't nice. you have flatmates that used to boil eggs? Yeah, we've had, we've, I've had some flatmates who uh, used to use my coffee mugs and, and crack the egg into a, mm. into a, you know, a coffee mug, chuck that in the microwave, and it would blow up everything. <laughs> so I said to them in the end, look, pierce the yolk, Chuck a little bit of water in there and you'll kind of get a bit more of a poached yeah, consistency. You Absolutely mind-blowing for them, wasn't it? Still didn't, still didn't happen though, did Master it? MasterChef <laughs> material there. Ted, can yeah. you wrap it up for us? Yeah, yes, I, I can. I look, as, as long as it came with, with soldiers and it was dippy, I'd be happy. <laughs> Ted, just quickly, I know we've got about a minute or so left. Tell us about the story about oh, the wiener. Oh, oh, Anthony Weiner. Yeah. Well, the whole world knows about Anthony Weiner. Well, Anthony Weiner's wiener because he sort of keeps on sexting to his girlfriends and people pictures of his, his member. I mean, why? <laughs> I, I can't understand because every time I've seen a picture of it, it's been pixelated. <laughs> and you sort of think if you've got a pixelated penis, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to find it amongst all the pixelation. But what gets me most of all is that like so many of these American pollies, when they get into trouble, they have the devoted wife yeah. mm. who's putting up with it. They should say, go away. Or cut it off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> would, would you it what would you do? I will pick something more attractive than a penis to put in a photo, quite frankly. Thank you very much. <laughs> so you reckon a bit of a dickhead? I think, yeah. yeah okay, and, and, but you're right, though. The women who it's yeah, like the they Good Wife TV it, series. They? they just put up with it. It's yeah. loyalty and, and it's morals. It's stupidity. And I'm the sorry. women have got better morals than but the But if your fella's today. taking photos of that part of the body and sending it yep. to somebody else, if it's sending it to the wife, you Fair know, enough. put up a breakfast. But You would have thought you'd already seen it. Yeah, many times. Yeah. When, it, it, it comes quickly? in a cup and you boil it for oh, five no, minutes. Can you not? When they said, don't use that word. When they said they wanted American Congress to be uh, more rigid and have more backbone, I think he kind of missed the mark on that oh. one. But I think that these people are running the country essentially. Kick him out straight away, he, like yeah. for a fourteen-year-old pursuit, and get someone worthwhile. Thank you, Candice. Wrap it up. For Look, us. it doesn't seem to be um, something all too uncommon. The sex scandal in politics, does it? I don't know whether it's representative of people in general, and we just get that a lot, or whether it's all politicians perfect. just kind of turning people yeah. perverted. I don't yeah. Thank you, Thank you very much, folks. A discussion for another show. Thank you to Natalie. Oh, don't Thank forget you. Cupcake Day. Cupcake Day is coming August. up. Tim's talking about it later on from the RSPCA. Good. Thank you very much. Cameron, thank you for being here. Thank you, my free implants. Check out my profile. Donate generously. <laughs> Candice will catch you next week on Polywaffle. That's it. Looking forward to catching up with And Ted will catch you on Curtain kids. for Breakfast. Certainly will. On thank Monday. Or most Mondays. Good show, that one, Ted. Oh, thank you. Mm. I love you, Mum.